Hey guys, Elephant Cuber here, and today I'm going to be ranking every single WCA event. Well, not really ranking, but putting into tiers. So as you can see, we have every event here that's currently in the WCA, so no past events like feet. And we're just going to get right into it. So we're starting off with 4x4, which I'm not going to put anything in don't do, because I have an opinion on every event. So we're starting with 4x4. And, you know, 4x4 kind of sucks. Like, I kind of don't like it. Um, but, you know, it's unique, I guess. But I'm going to put it in the D tier. Just with with room to go up to C. We'll see at the end. Next up is Skub. Skub is my least favorite event in the entire WCA. So it's going straight in the F tier. And it's not moving. It's staying there. Next up is Square One, and Square One is a very fun event, in my opinion. Um, I enjoy it a lot. I'm not very good at it, but I still enjoy it. I'm going to slide it up into... I'm going to put it in the A tier, because it's very unique, which I like. Next up is 3x3. 3x3 is boring. Like, 3x3 is okay. But I think I'm going to put it B tier, which is, like, unpopular opinion. But I really don't like 3x3 that much. I don't really care that it's the first and the most original. We're going to put 3x3 B tier. It's fun, but there's stuff that's better. Next up is Mega Minx. Mega Minx is, like, the definition of just a mid-event. So we're going to put it C tier. Uh, next up is Pyraminx. Pyraminx is a great event. It's my, it's one of my favorite events. I'm going to put it S tier for now, just because I think that it is one of the most fun and also one of the most beginner-friendly events. You can learn it literally by just doing a layer than doing another layer. I have friends who can't solve anything, but they figured out how to solve a Pyraminx. Next up is 4Blind, and I can't solve 4Blind, but... Um, it's very impressive, so I'm going to put it in C tier, because I think it's awesome, and if you can do it, that's cool. Five blind's even more impressive, so I'm going to put it in B tier, just because blind is blind. Multi-blind is crazy impressive, but it's kind of like boring, so we're going to put it C tier. Next up is 5x5. Five 5x5 by five. Five by five is my favorite end by end. Well, it's tied with 6x6. Six six. I'm going to put an A tier. Um, and that, that lets you know where 6x6 six six will be going. So I might as well just move 6x6 six six up there. Into the A tier. Next up is 3x3 three three Blindfolded. I personally think 3x3 three three Blindfolded is awesome. Um, it's really fun to watch. And I'm going to put it in the B tier, even though I don't do it. Because I don't know what, like, it is like. Like, is it fun? Is it not fun? I just know it's really impressive. So, yeah. We're going to put it there. 7x7 seven seven is eh. I'm going to put it D tier. It can go next to 4x4. Four four. One-handed is bad. I don't like it. It hurts my pinky because I broke my pinky. Uh, FMC is interesting, but I really don't like it. We're, I'll put a D tier. 2x2 two is fun. 2x2 two two is like, okay. 2x2 two by two, two by two can go A tier. No, I'm going to swap square one and 2x2 two two because I like 2x2 two two more. And last but not least is the greatest event in the entire WCA. And no, I am not joking, clock. Everyone knows I'm going to put clock number one. That's just how I am. So let's go through the list. So S tier is clock and pyraminx. A tier is 5x5, five 6x6, five, six 2x2. Six, two two. B tier is squan, 3x3. Three three. 5 blind and 3 blind. C tier is mega minx, 4 blind and multi blind. D tier is 4x4, 7x7, FMC, 
and F tier is skew and one-handed. This is objectively the only possible list that you can possibly have. If your opinion is anything different, you're wrong. Thank you guys for watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe, and yeah.